We all know that no child is born with hate, that hate is taught. And uh, we know that the first step of socialization for a child is the family. The child begins to hear about hate from parents, from siblings. They begin to hear about stereotypes, about other ethnic communities, about other racial, religious communities. And they begin to understand that there is something called an other, that there is us and then there is the other. We then move to the schools and then we keep being socialized this time by the media, by religious organizations, by uh, political issues that we see happening. At this point, the child is now probably getting into university and they've begun to internalize hate. They have the stereotypes in place, they have the prejudices in place. Then what that means is that that adult who was a child born without hate becomes the person who continues the next circle of socialization. And ultimately what happens is that when people begin to fight each other, especially at the local level, then we'll have a war on our hands and we know how difficult it is to stop wars. So what that means is that we must find ways to keep interrupting that circle of socialization through education, through knowledge, through having friends from different ethnic, racial, religious communities. And what I've learned is that the same tools that are used to spread hate are often turn out to be the best tools to counter hate speech. So for example, the cell phone, it's become a tool that's almost indispensable to many people. And it's also become a tool in which hate speech is spread through social media. The same tool can be used to counter hate speech. Social media, it's still an extremely useful tool of engagement. We just need to know how to speak to the issues that people need addressed. We must have conversations with our children and tell them not to fear difference and tell them that difference is a really good thing. It's the perspectives that each brings to the table are perspectives that you would never hear if you just stayed with people who look and speak like you.